to the right hand as Terrio moved into the corner. Batiste showing now that he's not in trouble. Showing Terrio that he's got a lot of gas left. Terrio now wants to keep him up against the rope. Nice three punch left round kick combination by Batiste. And Batiste backs against the ropes as his corner yells, get out of there. Not the right place for Batiste to be. Only Definitely. One. And he's down. He's down from another left hand by Johnny Terrio. And into the body. Terrio started to throw the kick against him on the floor, but good sport pulled out of it. See what Batiste does now. Will he dig down in there and get it out? He lands a left hand of his own as Terrio moves in. Terrio caught his leg on the ropes and J.T. Will had to back him off. This is digging down deeper than he's ever had to. The only time we've ever seen him have to do this before. He's really on his bicycle now. This he's is how he loves it. Batiste is talking to himself. I got himself more psyched than I've ever seen him. He knows what the consequences are here. Tried to suck Terrio in then to catch him with the hook. This is for the world championship. Johnny Terrio defending in the last 15 seconds of the 11th round. The schedule for 12. Rodney Batiste wants to take that championship away. Batiste has been knocked down twice. The third time again with a body shot. Second time with a body shot in this round. There's the bell. There's the bell signaling the end of the 11th round. Bell. The referee did not hear the bell. Referee did not hear the bell. Batiste's corner was over throwing water on him. The referee separated him. Two knockdowns by Terrio in that round with shots to the body gives him a big 10-7 win. They're screaming at Batiste now. He's got to dig down to come back. Knockout is his only chance. Rodney Batiste only threw five kicks in that round. He's going to lose six points on the judges' card. So Rodney Batiste can only win by a knockout in the 12th round, but he's the one who looks as though he may be knocked out. There you see one of the knockdowns. And this is the 12th and final round. John Eve Terrio wants to win by a knockout. He doesn't want to take the decision, but he has already won that decision. Terrio knows he's got the decision. This is the kind of athlete that fighters, fight fans enjoy. Even though he's got it won, Batista is talking to him. Batista is probably talking to himself as much as he is to Terrio. Terrio looks real calm, but he looks very businesslike. Definitely wants to finish it with a knockout. Rodney a little bit wobbled. He was wobbled by a left hand, and then a left round kick landed on the side of his head. Good that jab by Batiste. Batiste has got to win it by knockout. The question now is how bad does he want it? How bad does he want it? Does he have enough left to go and try to take it by knockout? I don't think he's got it. I think, I think his... The big question now is, can he make it through? He's saying, come on, come and get me. But Terrio does not have to come and get Batiste. Batiste has to go to Terrio. <laughs> 45 seconds left in this fight. And these guys are still going here in the 12th round. Only 30 seconds remaining in the 12th round. Johnny Terrio, Rodney Batiste have given the crowd every penny of their money's worth. In the center ring, trading uppercut. We're closing out the final seconds of this fight. Rodney Batiste gamely sticking it out through the end, not getting knocked out. Of course, we go to the judges for their decision. 
But with the penalties, it's going to be very difficult for the judges to see it any other way than for Johnny Cario successfully defending his championship. We'll be back with that official decision with the winner right after this. Get a jump on Total Sports with e the decision, the announcer, George Sylvain. First of all, I'd like to point out that in two rounds, uh, Mr. Betsis did not deliver enough kicks. The results are as follows. Judge Folks uh, scores the fight 118 points for Terrio, 103 for Batiste. <laughs> Judge Day scores the fight 120 points for Terrio, 104 points for Batiste. <laughs> Judge Pattis scores the fight 120 points for Terrio, 105 for Batiste. The winner and still champion and of the, the world. Defending champion, John Eve Terrio. John Eve, I have to have a word with you. Rodney, I'd like to talk to you too. John Eve, a tremendous win. The first time you've ever been 12 rounds. Were you trying for a knockout or did you want to go the distance? Well, there's a couple of times during the fight that uh, I clipped him and uh, I thought possibly that he would go, but he's a tough character and uh, um, I was ready to go 12 rounds, you know. Um, I had to pace myself. I, there's a couple of times where I wanted to go and just don't stop, you know, uh, without stopping, but uh, he was covering up, so I had to back up, you know. And, uh, well, that was going to be my question. You had him on the ropes. You did very, very well in the early rounds when you did have him on the ropes. And then you you got, in those later rounds, letting him off the ropes. Yeah, well, I had, to, I had to pace myself. At times, there I didn't feel like I was getting through, so uh, like my trainer said, I had to back up and uh, size up the situation and... Uh, Go back at it, you know. Well, it's a tremendous win for you. It's a wide margin, unanimous decision. The defending world middleweight champion. What are your plans from here? Well, uh, like I said at the beginning of the year, or last year when I won the title, I I mentioned at one time that I wanted to fight uh, all the contenders and uh, and all the up and coming fighters and just keep on fighting and showing the public that uh, my November fight, uh, the first round knockout on. Uh, on uh, Robert Biggs wasn't, wasn't a fluke and uh, I deserve to win. Uh, you know, I, I train hard and uh, the opponents are tough. I have to give him that. Ronnie was a hell of a good fighter. He caught me a couple of times. Matter of fact, he cut me on the eye. Uh, I don't know if he noticed it or not, but uh, um, he wasn't working on it. So uh, the opponents are just tremendous and I just want to fight as much as I can. Well, congratulations. Let me be the first or among the first to congratulate you on defending your championship. Thank you very much. And a, a quick word with Rodney Batiste. We can move right over here. Rodney, that was a, just a tremendous fight for you. Jimmy, if you can let our camera through here. That's the best we've ever seen you fight. You what? too, huh? <laughs> you, you really dug down deep. You, you pulled it out when, when it looked as though you were going to be on the canvas, stay down. You got back up, and you gave him everything you could handle. Well, when you're in there with the best, take the best out of you. John Eve is he's the champ. Giving him but, a champion, but he's the number one contender. But I'll tell you that much. The next time I come back to Ottawa, I'm taking it home. Train a little harder. I underestimated him. I underestimated him. Didn't train the way I should have, but I've had a lot of early rock round knockouts. Let me say this <laughs> about John E. to go that long. I underestimated him because of the type of opponent that he had been fighting. But he is a technician. He's a craftsman. He thinks about what he's going to do before doing it. Gave me everything I wanted to do everything I wanted and then some and uh, I'm really looking forward to coming back because man that's the kind of fight I enjoy he and proved he's the number one contender in the race. Rodney Batiste says next time he comes to Ottawa he'll take it away and good luck with your quest Rodney we'll be back right after this okay.